Another standard feature that Red Lion's secure remote access platform offers our customers is the ability to define access based on user or roles. So it's important to have the right type of access to the application. So Control Engineer 1, for example, may need to access just the PLC, but not the HMI. Control Engineer 2 may need to access the HMI, but not the PLC. And so Red Lion's solution makes it very easy to define at that granular level of who has access to which network components. But not only that, we also have the ability to implement role-based access. And so you can have different users that have access to just one dashboard or just a dashboarding section within the portal but not the administration section. So let's take a look at users. So when user accounts are added, and you can add as many user accounts as you want to, you can add them, that is unique to a particular one person. So it's one login per user account. And when you log in, you get access to all the things that are defined to that user account. So user access is defined at the project level, at the remote gateway level, or at the network component level. So let's take a look at what it looks like to define it at the project level. You can see all of these projects that are listed here, I have access to them because it's been defined. So if we open up or if we click on the edit for simply.connect and click on the access tab, we can see that there are two users here that have access. This is the user that I'm currently logged in as, Barry Turner, and the other is, is a different account. So if I take my account off and click Save, you'll see that now the project has been removed from my view because I no longer have access to it because I took myself out of having access to that. So you can see very quickly and easily you can de define and decide who gets access to which project, but not only just the projects, but also the network devices on the inside, so you could define it at the project level and or you can define it at the component level too, so you can do it at the remote gateway, you can do it at the, um, at the uh, network components, either, either of those, you can define it wherever you would like. But to define it at the component level, you need to enable restrictions. So let's take a look at what it would take to do that. So if we click on Site 4, we're going to enable restrictions on this device so that we can define access to one PLC versus the HMI, so the example we talked about at the very beginning. So if I click on Edit under System, I see that there's a restriction tab here, or a checkbox. I'm going to click uh, Enable on the restricted access, and this gives me the ability to restrict access to things on the other side of the LAN side of my device. I'm going to click Save, and would like any configuration change within RL Connect 24 for the remote gateways themselves, you have to synchronize that change from the centralized user interface. And so I'm just going to click Synchronize Now. And we'll pause the video while it works through that, which is about a two-minute process. So it's going to be getting its configuration changes, it's going to be rebooting, it's going to come back up. Once it comes back up, we'll resume the video. Now that we have synchronized the changes, now we can go in and change the access to network components on the LAN side. So if we navigate to the LAN side of this remote gateway by clicking on Interfaces and then clicking LAN, now we see we have a FlexEdge device down here that has been defined. It is simply a network component. If we open up that network component and click Edit on it to get the settings and click the Access tab, we can see that device access is restricted. Only selected clients' users access will be granted. Uh, so we could also use select here to use the device settings, but we don't want to do that. We wanted to be granular in this and say that uh, in a situation where we had multiple network components, we wanted to find one person has access to this network component and another person has access to this other network component. We can do that easily here. So you can see the Barry Turner is defined here as having access to this um, FlexEdge device or this network component has been configured here. I'm going to click Cancel there and I'm going to back up. I'm going to log out as this user and I'm going to log in as another user and what you'll see is my screen will look dramatically different. And so instead of seeing access to the administration tab, instead of having access to messaging, task, all the things that we have access to here, my user account is going to change and therefore my role within the platform is going to change as well. So I'm going to log in with an end user account. This end user account has a access for his role that defines that he has access to only the dashboard. He can't do anything else. So if we over, look over here at the user group section and look at the end user group, 
I've already predefined what level of access this user is going to have. And so you can see right here, let me open it up so you can get a better view. You can see right here, he can't administrate anything. So no access to administration. On the dashboards, all he can do is read. He can't write, he can't create, delete, edit, share, can't do any of those things. He can read alarms. He can't see any of the projects. Uh, he can see devices because that's, he needs to be able to see that to be able to read the dashboard data. Uh, but that's essentially it. So he can't really do any of the other major things here because of the roles that's been defined for this particular user. So let's log out as this user and log in as the end.user account and see what looks different for us. So we're going to log out now and we're going to log right back in as that end.user. And indeed, things do look a good bit different than they looked before. And so if we look over here on the left hand side, we had a menu system before that most of that's gone now. Now all we have access is to just the dashboarding piece. Uh, so we don't have access to administration, so we can't VPN into the site. All we can do is what we should do for the role for this particular user. So you can imagine a scenario where a plant manager needs to see uh, maybe a few dashboards, but he doesn't really need to get access to the equipment itself. So uh, you can lock him down so that he has access to the things he needs to do his job for his role and not just wide open access to everything on the network. And so user-based and role-based uh, access control is the native feature within uh, Redline's RL Connect 24 portal and it uh, meets the needs for our customer's application today.